In this video, I'm going to show you a GUI monitoring and management tool for Cassandra called JConsole. It isn't built specifically for Cassandra. With Cassandra's Java Management Extensions, or JMX, support, it becomes a one-stop shop for maintenance and management. JConsole is a JMX-compliant GUI tool. It has the advantage of easier identification of trends and patterns. It's bundled in Java SDK since version 5, and so it's free of charge. It also permits local and remote management through Remote Method Invocation, RMI. However, it's resource intensive and is recommended to run on a separate machine. And each manageable resource inside JVM is called a Managed Bean, or MBean for short. Currently, JConsole groups a myriad of information into six tabs. The MBeans tab is the most important area for specific metrics and operations exposed by Cassandra's MBeans, which will be covered later in this video. JMX support is controlled through a few JVM options, which are configured in the central Cassandra-ENV.sh. The default JMX port is 7199. You may change to other value at will. You may enable Secure Socket Layer, SSL, or turn on authentication. Okay, let's watch a demonstration. Change to slash etc slash Cassandra. Use Vi to edit Cassandra-ENV.sh. Search for JMX. The default value of the JMX port variable is 7199 that is used for JMX access. Then search for JMX remote. Here are the default settings. As an illustration, I'll enable authentication to ban anonymous access. Change com.sun.management.jmxremote.authenticate to true. And add a new line as shown on the screen to specify the location of the username password file. Save. Create the username password file called jmxremote.password. Insert the username monitor role, press the tab key, and input the password abc123. Save. To secure this authentication file, change the jmxremote.password file to mode600 and its owner and group to Cassandra. Restart Cassandra. Check its status. Launch JConsole. In the login prompt, input localhost 7199, input monitor role and ABC123. Click Connect button. We can now see the six tabs. The first tab is Overview, presented as a dashboard of the system status. Then the Memory tab, mainly focusing on heat memory trends and metrics. Then the Threads tab, relating to thread pool statistics and trends. The fourth tab is Classes. The second to last tab is VM Summary, showing a summary of the JVM being used. Finally, the MBeans tab. Before we look into this tab, let's learn about Cassandra's MBeans first. Cassandra provides a few MBean packages to allow you to issue operations and monitor its metrics. The DB package focuses on caching, table metrics, and compaction. Then the internal package for internal server operations, such as gossip, hinted handoff. The metrics package provides internal metrics, such as client read-write request latencies, column families bloom filter false positive ratio, and so on. The net package is about internode communication. Then the request package for tasks related to read, write, and replication operations. Finally, the service package gives information about node, ring, token, snapshot, etc. These MBean packages can be found in the tree on the MBeans tab of JConsole. Here shows a summary table of the MBean packages with their metrics and operations for your quick reference. The details can be found in the reference provided. Let's return to the MBeans tab of JConsole and browse some MBeans. The MBean packages are shown in the tree on the left. Unfolding each of them shows its classes, properties, attributes, and operations. For example, expand cache of the metrics package, key cache class, capacity properties, and select attributes. As key cache has only one attribute, the capacity of the key cache configured, its value is shown on the right. One more example, expand read stage class of the request package and select attributes. This time a few more attributes are shown on the right. For example, completed tasks is one and pending tasks is zero. You've been familiar with JConsole and how to use it with Cassandra. Indeed, JConsole is very powerful yet very complicated. You should read the documentation and master its usage. Next, we'll delve into Java garbage collection and learn about how to monitor it for Cassandra.